Hello Internet! Welcome to my JavaScript scripting tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you a lot about event handlers. We're going to be using this same web page right here, and I know it's simple, but that's because there's a whole lot of complicated things going on in the background to teach you a whole bunch of things about event handlers, like I said. First off, what we're going to do here, if you reload this web page, you can see that the focus has gone into this specific text box. Well, why is that? The reason why is this code right here within the body tag. I said on load, which means on web page load. I want you to set the focus with the function that's right here to the text box that has the identification name of name. And that's exactly what the identification name is for this text box. Also, and I would never do this, but there is an event handler that allows you to say when somebody is leaving your web page, meaning they're going to trigger the on unload event handler. You want your web page to open up an alert box saying, for example, please don't leave. I would never do this, but just for completion of reasons, I'm showing this, this event handler. Also, what I did, if I scroll out here, I set it up so that as the height of the web page changes, automatically my image resizes. There's a whole bunch of different things you can do with this. So that's another event handler on resize. Now, I also created a div and placed an image into it. You can see all kinds of event handlers are being triggered. I'm going to show you which ones those are. But first off, I created an image tag. I gave it an identification name logo in this example. And then I said that the location of the image I want them to load when the web page loads up is this little blue brain right here. And this is where it's located. Here's alt text, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, or this all looks foreign to you, watch my HTML tutorial. Then I use the on mouse over event handler and the document object and the function get element by ID and passed it the name of this image right here and said that I want to change the image source to this new image. And you can see here, if I roll my mouse over top of that image, it automatically changes. But why does it change back? Well, it changes back because I use the on mouse out event handler to call back the original image and place it right there on the screen. So that's how you use on mouse over and on mouse out event handlers. Then I created another div area and put within it a button that's going to trigger certain actions whenever this button's clicked. In this case, it's gonna open an alert box, as you can see up here. So how did I do that? Well, I used an on click event handler, followed by in double quotes, the calling of this alert function, which opens up an alert box on my screen. And then I close the div. Now is when we're gonna start checking the text that people enter in to make sure that it's valid. I need to scroll out here. Let's reload this window again. Now, if somebody, because the focus, remember, is set to this box, if somebody leaves that text area, you can see this value right here pop up. Let's do that again. See how it popped up? This is called your helper text. Well, what I'm doing in this field right here is I'm saying when somebody leaves the text box, let's do it again. You can see the helper text popped up there. When somebody leaves that text box area, I want the on blur event handler to occur. And the on blur means leaving text area, just like you saw right there. And whenever somebody leaves that text area, it's going to call this function right here, which is the is the field empty function. And it's going to pass the identification number for this text that's either entered or not entered. And then it's going to pass an identification name for the helper text using the document object followed by the get element by ID function, just like before. And then I create a span inside of the div and I give it the name name underscore help. So that's what that div does. And that also is what all of these other divs do, except for this down here. I have, a, I have set an alarm button in which when somebody presses that alarm, after a certain period of time, an alert box will open. And you can see the code right here for this event. I again trigger an on click of the button element that's there and then I said whenever the mouse is clicked I want you to wait a certain period of time in this case 3000 milliseconds or three seconds and I want you to open an alert box that states 
three seconds. In it, you can see that all right there. Again, the function you call to trigger an event after a certain period of time is the set time out function. And that is basically everything that this web page does. However, I don't have the time to go through all of the functions that this little guy here calls, but I will in the next tutorial. And then I'll also teach you about a subject that's hard to understand, which is regular expressions. So see you next time.